What's up, B2 Capital G? Here, got some red eyes action for you guys to check out here on YGO Pro 2, including the second duel where basically all hell is gonna break loose, and it's gonna almost be it's gonna be difficult to even understand what the fuck is going on. It's gonna get pretty nuts in the second duel, but first duel is still pretty good. It's gonna be Buster Blader versus uh, Red Eyes, which is probably a duel that heavily favors Buster Blader because obviously Red Eyes is a deck that's full of dragons, and Buster Blader, you know, is like the slayer of dragons so you don't want to but you don't want to have your opponent having like buster blader on the field let alone the destruction swordsman fusion monster and you're playing red eyes because there there is a serious opportunity for you to get fucked up really really bad and i still think red eyes has some very powerful cards in a vacuum red eyes insight very good red eyes fusion one of my favorites and uh the red eyes fang with chain might be my favorite card in the archetype slash dragon obviously strong as well don't think that there's a lot of great red eyes pilots out there don't take offense to that red eyes fans i just don't feel like a lot of good players are playing the deck because they don't really give it much of a chance anyways red eyes is up first gonna set the baby dragon he's gonna go ahead and set himself a heavy dust storm and against buster blader and don't how good heavy death storm is his opponent's going to get his buster blader on the field he's going to equip it now the weird thing was we, he before going into battle phase he sets a card on the field which in turn makes this heavy dust storm extremely live so he's going to attack and he's immediately going to rip that dust storm he hits his opponent's heavy dust storm and then don't you know baby dragon is just going to activate it's going to get him a gear a gear freed straight from the deck and then the gear freed is going to equip itself with the baby dragon so he got a lot of value out of a card that he probably shouldn't have got value out of but whatever and now that buster blader is just basically sitting on the field naked has uh no stat boost and anything now the red eyes top deck was actually really good not generally a good card to top deck but it does allow him to use the cards for the red stone so i mean that's really good he gets two cards out of his hand gets two better cards is going to summon the black stone of legend tribute that for red eyes and then he gives up the baby dragon and he gets the flare dragon which means he can now go for the rank seven play he says give me your damn monster i got the big guy and at that point his opponent says oh shit <laughs> i just had my buster blader used against me i scoop it's uh pretty much donezo at that point uh buster blader was supposed to be the card that was going to slay the red eyes and instead it slays its own master so irony there at the highest degree let's go into the second duel he opens with Red Eyes Insight. He's playing against Amazonist. And at this way, before I even roll this, I was like, uh, I rolled my eyes inside. I was like, oh, great. Another anime trash deck. But believe me, this Amazonist is going to, it's going to pull off some plays that I just did not see coming. It's going to summon that pet dragon. I think he might go for, there it is, Mrs. Radiant plus set three. Mrs. Radiant, of course, pays for itself if it gets regekied. He's going to search out that Red Eyes Fusion. I believe he's going to go red, uh, he's going to go for stone and, or excuse me, cards for red. And then he actually activates the red eyes fusion uh he's going to get a card from his graveyard to go and equip uh amazon is call is going to get him a copy of queen which is going to be summoned pet baby uh tiger is going to be summoned back from the graveyard as well mrs radiant will trigger so it does pay for itself and watch this cool play that he's going to go for it's actually going to be pretty cool he's going to go spy and then he's going to go for mrs radiant it's going to summon the uh princess and then at the same time he gets baby back heavy dust storm is going to clear out his back row which is it's not gonna really matter that much because back row is gonna replace itself and then he goes for Borlo dragon but yo he is not he's not done yet he's gonna go ahead and take the slash dragon keep in mind Borlo dragon's effect does not target so he spent a lot well not a lot of resources but uh this was the bulk of his board the red eye slash dragon it, it, it is a card that does protect itself and it is very powerful and now Borlo dragon just says you know what you work for me motherfucker so you out here snatching you out here snatch stealing your opponent's monsters how's how does it feel when somebody snatch steals you he's gonna go for proxy dragon in main phase two and I thought that this was looking really bad, but he top decks a Red Eyes Fusion. Maxi is going to be chained, and now he has a Slash Dragon. He's going to attack Proxy. He's going to go ahead and equip. Then Red Eyes on his opponent's side of the field says, I'm going to equip. And then Borolo Dragon says, wait a minute, I'm going to just step in. I'm going to use my effect for no reason as well. <laughs> so Borolo Dragon is like, yo, look look at look at all. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Let's go back one. What's it called? Look how many just like arrows and lines and shit is just happening on the field. But, you know, I digress he does have the regeki regeki clears everything out that was basically the trump card konami please ban regeki so skillless but he does fight back with the grinder golem shenanigans you guys know what akashic magician grinder golem is uh like this card will be banned within a year like this combo is just it's so derpy man going into akashic magician bouncing the grinder golem 
summoning it to your opponent's side of the field in defense mode. He is able to take down the, the uh, Slash Magician, or Slash Magician, the Red Eye Slash Dragon, but just doesn't matter because he gets gear freed, and then he's able to fuse for the Red Eye's, uh, what's it called, the Red Eye's Dragon Sword, and the thing is, this card is ridiculously strong, 7,300 attack, plus he also gave his opponent the Grinder Golem, which he didn't kill that turn. Usually you want to kill Grinder Golem, that's why you summon it in defense mode, because it only has 300 defense. You don't want to leave it for your opponent to attack you with it because it is a huge ass monster very similar to lava golem but that is the end of the duel if you guys enjoyed these duels please give the video a thumbs up i think i got i think i got tied up a little bit with my words towards the end of the video but i'm sure you guys are going to excuse that if you guys are interested in the red eyes build of course it will be in the description of this video thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on those notifications for daily videos